Hi, thanks for coming back to my channel. My name is Kira. In today's video, I wanted to discuss my empties. I did one of these videos, I think like a couple weeks or so back, kind of discussing other things I finished, but I have more stuff I finished. So I wanna go and discuss those and kind of give reviews of like some of the items, um, cause I'll have a better understanding since I finished it up, you know. I must know something. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get started with them. Most of these items are also going to be, they're all like beauty stuff. <laughs> they're all related to like beauty, makeup. Uh, I think there's a couple things like, so skincare and like my hair. There's a thing from like my hair routine that I finished up as well. So we'll go ahead and kind of discuss everything. Oh, and this will be in no particular order. This is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Extra Moisture Detangler. As you see, the bottle is fully empty. I have a lot of hair, so I go through these pretty quickly um, because I wash my hair once a week and I detangle my hair about once a week. So, but I have a lot of hair, so I section into like four different parts and go through that as well. Maybe I'll probably do like a hair video, like explaining like my hair routine, like when I wear my hair out, like what exactly I do to my hair, get it to look like this. Um, but I do use this to detangle, detangle my hair and I like this a lot. I've been using this for a while. I think it gives a decent amount of slip in the hair, like my hair, cause I followed up with like finger detangling and then I do a Denman brush on top. So this kind of gives my hair the ability to kind of break away any sort of tangles that may be there as well. Um, and it leaves my hair not feeling like I'm tugging, you know, like almost like pulling out hair that doesn't need to be pulled out. Like it just feels like any tangles I'm getting out of my hair were actually genuine tangles. One Sore Big by Lancome. Um, I this, I think this is my second tube of this mascara. I'm currently not using this mascara anymore and that's because I'm trying to be more like cruelty free with my um, makeup and beauty and skincare products that I use. So I'm currently using the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. And I'm gonna be honest, I like that mascara more than I like this one because this one can really become clump city if you're not careful and don't wipe off the excess on the brush. I do like this mascara. It's not a bad mascara. It's just, it being like kind of expensive and how it's like often you're supposed to change out your mascaras and how quickly I would be going through these. I kind of feel like it really is just a preference thing, um, but it's not bad. It definitely was my holy grail, but now that I've tried the Essence Slash Princess, the green tube, that one's probably not my favorite. And especially since it's like, what is it, like 3 or 4 dollars or something at Ulta? Can't beat that. You can't beat that at all compared to this one being $25 a tube, which is not cheap at all. But if hey, you can swing it, I do suggest trying the, there's a sample size that is $12. And that one's not bad. Like if you want to get an idea of if you'd like this one, try that one. Cause it's a smaller tube, you more likely go through it in that three month span of time that you're supposed to have a mascara for. And it's still bucks, which isn't that more expensive than like a drugstore mascara. This Becca Backlight Priming Filter trial size. I actually already have the full size of this, but for some reason I, I bought the full size before I fully had finished this one. So that gives an idea that uh, I do quite like this primer. Um, it does not hydrate, it does not really mattify, it doesn't do anything except provide your skin and the appearance of glow, which is nice and I like that. I like that primer best for when my skin is already like really well hydrated and I don't really need any extra primer really except I just want to make sure I'm going to be glowy. Um, then I use this primer and I like it done. If my skin is like slightly dry, I don't like using this primer because I don't think it helps with anything because my skin still is gonna be dry. It's not going to really like hydrate anything because I don't think it even claims to do that. It just makes your face look glowy. Like I currently look pretty glowy, but that's because I used a hydrating primer today because my face is not hydrated at all. It's a little, the Wet n Wild Skinny Tip Eyeliner. I think a few months back, the first time I did an empties video, I talked about how much I like this eyeliner. I don't know what they changed about this eyeliner, but I no longer like this eyeliner. <laughs> I was raving and saying how great this eyeliner was because of the, the tip being so skinny. And I finally got around to repurchasing it when I ran out of another felt tip liner. So I'm like, you know what? I remember I liked that Wet n Wild one. Let me go try that one again. I don't know what they did to this one or like what they did to the formula, but it's no longer the same. 
this doesn't last the same the tip skips for some reason like i feel like it tugs on the skin it doesn't go on nearly as well as i remember going on the the tip is still really nice it's great for if you want to like do like just the inner corner part or just do the wing part but even if you just try to do the wing i felt like it was tugging at my skin even just to get like the tip of the eyeliner wing like if i went in and did like a full regular liner but i was having a hard time getting like a sharp point at the end i would try to go in with this and i felt like it would just skip like it i could feel that there's still product in there because you know shake it do it on the back of your hand and it would show there's product but for some reason it was acting like it wasn't every time i would try to apply it and i do store my felt liners upside down so it's not like the product isn't getting to the tip or anything it just wasn't it wasn't how it used to be so i don't know what they did to it but this used to be good and now I no longer like this at all. So I don't recommend this anymore. This liquid eyeshadow, this is from Wet n Wild in the shade. Um, I don't know the shade, but this is from the Mermaid collection or something that came out, I think like a year or so ago. I finally finished this. Um, I had recently, the last time I was able to use it was the, what video was it? But I, I did like, um. A video recently where I had like a black smoky like wing kind of glittery thing going on if you're curious about what I used for that look it was this uh, I like this I like the formula of the wet and wild liquid shadows I have a few others as well and I quite like them they're really good for just looking like a metallic glittery foiled shadow like just on your eye um, I wouldn't really compare them to the steel ones because I feel like the steel ones fall out a little bit on your face like they will crumble down a bit onto your face if you're not careful. The Wet n Wild ones stay pretty okay, but they're, I also feel like they they can kind of crack if you layer them a little bit too much. Like if you're if you're not careful and you apply too much, they'll start to kind of crunch up and just all over your face. So I don't, I, I do like these. I do want to try some other colors as well. Um, they're not bad. They're not bad for being like drugstore liquid eyeshadow. Finish this face mask. This is the Pure Clay, what is this? Charcoal Mask from L'Oreal. Um, this mask, I liked it a lot when my skin was more oily, but now that my skin's way more dry, this mask is intense. Like, it's a lot. I do like using charcoal in my skincare because I feel like it really draws out the dirt in my skin, really cleanses my skin deeply. But this, as a mask, like a clay mask, is just way too drying for my face. I'm kind of glad that I have finished it. I probably won't repurchase this because it just doesn't really go with my skin type. This is good if you have oily skin, I would say. Like if you have oily skin, if you have a lot of like whiteheads, like if your skin breaks out a lot, like a lot of like dirt and bacteria and stuff on your face, or like if your pores just tend to get clogged a lot, I would say this is pretty good. It's not expensive either. I think it was like $9.99. And you can get like a decent amount of product in here. Um, I think it says net weight of 1.7 ounces, 48 grams. So it's a decent amount in here. And um, I would apply it like pretty much all over my face. And it still took me a while to finish the whole like container and stuff too. So this is the Kiss Ching Ching Non lashes. I think these are from their Blowout Lash Collection. I've used these lashes I don't know how many times. I like the Kiss lashes because some of them have like really thin like lash bands so they're a lot easier to apply and don't look as chunky on the eyes and I can wear them like a decent amount of times like I would say around like maybe 20 or so times before they're pretty much dead but these ones are they've seen better days they've seen better days so I finished that pair essentially this is the pair pitch from Kiss I believe too this is their I don't remember what collection this was. It's in like a white box. It's got like red lettering on it. I want the blowout line. It's, what is it? I don't remember. But I finished this fair pitch. They're more like, um, kind of like they uh, are good for halo eyes. Like they're very nice and thick and fluttery. I like them a lot. The lash bands on these are kind of the opposite of what I was just saying about the other kids ones. Where those ones had a very thin lash band. This one was a very thick lash band, which... For me, my eyelid, how my eyelid shape goes is my, I have my lash area, like where my lashes naturally come out. And then I have like a crease, like as you can see on my eyes, like with my eyes fully open, just looking straight on, I have a, a little bit of a crease hood 
the situation going on. So when I have a thick lash band on false lashes, it takes up some of the eyelid real estate I have and I pretty much have to bring up my eyeshadow and everything farther up than I may want to. So I don't re I don't really care, please. I would not rebuy these again. But the kids' lashes in general are not bad if you um if they have a thinner lash band. I just can't remember the line that these came in of Demi Wispies. I love these. I always try to keep some on deck of having like another pair of Demi Wispies, but this pair is just, they're done. They're starting to like get weirdly clumped and stuff together. But Ardell, kind of like Kiss, I feel like really good affordable lashes that last me a really long time. I can wear them 20 plus times, depending upon how well I take care of them and like how often and long I've been wearing them for. Because sometimes I'll put makeup on like at night and I'll put lashes and stuff on, but I only wear them for like two hours and I take them off, you know, clean them and everything and put them back. So in that case, I can wear them, you know, slightly more than like 20 or so times. Right, this is the Ardell Natural 174s. These are just more, they wing out more at the edges and rather than kind of um like a full halo, like the same similar length all the way across, like the ones I currently have on. These ones, <laughs> I cried in them one time and then it just kind of messed them up really bad because I think the mascara I had on that day just really messed with the lashes like it made them kind of clump together weird and stuff so they look gross and disgusting. So those are done which makes me sad because I don't think I got a chance to wear those as much as I would have liked to. And the last pair of that from Ardell is these are their Glamour Lashes in style 122. Let me see if I can kind of show you. They're just, they're good for like halo eyes because they just, they're longer in the middle than they are on the outer edges. So they're good for like making your eye look very like doe eyed and wide open. I like these a lot for like simple eyeshadow looks. Like if I'd be wearing just like one eyeshadow or if I was doing a halo eye, these are good. They give me like, I think Tinkerbell, like fairy type of vibe. I like these. Um, I'd probably repurchase these or something similar of, in a lash style to these because I did quite like them a lot. I finished a Sony Kashuk makeup brush and sponge cleaning balm. This is what it is. I was so proud of myself when I finished this up fully too. Whew. I like this brush cleaner. Um, I feel like this is a very convenient way to clean your brushes too because even when I was like on my staycation basically when I was there I, I brought I wanted uh, my new one because I did go repurchase this that that's how much I like it I went and got another one and I brought it with me to make sure that I could clean my brushes and keep my brushes clean while I was away because though I may be traveling that does not mean that it's okay for me to just keep using dirty brushes we're not trying to break out while on kind of like a vacation so I like this a lot. Um, I don't, I think you can only get it at Target. That's only where I've seen it. You probably could buy it on like Sony Kajak's website, but I've seen it in person only at Target. But I do like this because it foams up a little bit, but you can always like, um, like swirl it around a couple times in here, get it all nice and foamy and soapy, and then go like on your like cleansing brush pad thing and rinse it out and your brushes are clean They're, and it doesn't take super long to dry when I use this as well. I've used other brush cleaners, cleaners, cleansers. I used to use uh, Dawn back in the day, like yeah, back in the day. Like when I first started wearing makeup, I used to clean my brushes and sponges and stuff with Dawn because that's what I saw on Pinterest. I saw it on Pinterest and I believed it and I was like, that sounds like a smart idea. A dual lash glue brush on adhesive with vitamins. I don't know about that, but I finally finished one of these up. I think I had mentioned before in my last empties video that I had switched to the brush on adhesive because I felt like this would be better suited for me because of the squeezy thing. I'm messy and I would be squeezing out way too much glue than what I actually needed. So I felt like I was just squeezing out way too much every single day and then not using all of the amount that I squeezed out, but I can't get it back in the tube. So I switched to this thinking that this would kind of solve that issue and it did. I like this a lot. It works just as effectively as the kind that squeezes out by Duo. I just feel like the brush on for me works better. It also gets tacky a lot faster so I don't have to sit there and wait for them to get tacky and then be able to put on my lashes. I can brush this on and immediately go to put it on my eyelid if I want to. But I like this. I already bought another tube of this that I'm currently using. So I do like this. The only downside to the brush on adhesive, let me see if I can show you here. The only downside is the tube gets dirtier on the top because you're constantly, this is gonna sound so gross, okay. But 
You know what I mean? Like it gets, it, the glue kind of gets around the top part of the container. But I would still say that I'm still able to use majority of the glue that's in here. The final thing that I finished for this empties video this week is going to be, um, this is from Bath & Body Works. This is the body wash from the Aromatherapy line. This is a sleep black chamomile um, with natural essential oils, body wash, and foam pack. This smells delicious and it's so cute because the actual body wash that was in here, it's clearly not in here anymore because it's empty, is like this silvery black glittery liquid. If you haven't seen it in store, I highly suggest going to go look at it because it's very pretty and it does do well for um, if you wanted to do like a bubble bath. I used it just kind of like as a normal like body wash and it was still pretty good. Um, it's not a very intense scent. I also take my showers in the morning, so it being the sleep is the opposite for me. But I don't feel like the scent was too, like, like, like made me want to go to sleep. I'm sure that if I took my showers at night, I would, but I don't know. I, I like the scent. It smells kind of like, it makes me think lavender, like, very calming and just in a weird way, like, energizing to me. Like, it smells fresh, clean, light but not linen you know like that scent like linen it doesn't smell like that it just smells clean i don't know but i do like this scent i'm down to totally try this again i just got a lot of uh, body washes and stuff for christmas so i probably won't be buying body wash for a while but i do like this uh i like this line as well the final item of this video was just let me know you know if maybe you tried any of these things if you have any like comment questions concerns about whatever i tried or if you have any suggestions for other things that are similar to like what i had in this video let me know um and yeah i guess that's it for me uh if you would like to continue to see my face my fashion sense and like other things that i may be trying like makeup looks that i'm doing similar to this I, I do more intense looks than this. This is very natural. I was very like toned down today. I wanted to focus more on like having my skin just look really nice. I'm currently using the Nora Sheer Glow um, foundation and I'm into it. I think my skin looks really good. This is also the Nabla Amnesia highlighter. Like, ooh, I look hydrated. Um, if you want to see more of my face and my fashion sense and more of like regular posting from me, go follow me on Instagram. My handle is at uk. U-G-H dot Kiera, K-E-R-R-A. I post every single day on there of anything that I'm like slightly interested in. And if you want to see pictures of my cats, I'm constantly posting them onto my story. Um, and I'm also posting like outfits of the days and stuff like that on there too. So if you're interested in that, go follow me there. Um, I'm also going to link down below my Tumblr. I'm actually like writing stuff onto my Tumblr now and like posting photos and like more insights about like me and stuff. And if you also want to see like memes and things that I'm finding funny at the moment, it's on there as well on my Tumblr page. That will be linked down below. If you ever want to shop my closet or anything that I may have like thrifted or be getting rid of or anything like that, follow me over on there. I think my handle is the same thing. I think it's uh Kiera down there as well but it'll be linked in the description bar below if you ever want to see anything that is interesting me at the moment or inspiration wise um, my pinterest will also be linked down below in the meantime i hope to see you soon take care